Can you get banned on Amazon Killer Rec Publishing for utilizing services like ChatGPT or some kind of AI writing software to publish your books, to write and publish your books? Well, the short answer is yes. So if you want to click off this video, you can, you can do that. But I'm going to talk about a way that you can not get banned by utilizing these services. And it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. But I've seen many people utilize ChatGPT and AI writing services. So to be completely honest with you, there is a way to do it without getting banned. But the short answer is yes, you can get banned. Can in italics, because you can get banned, but there is a way to not get banned. Okay, so let's, let's talk about it. So looking at platforms like ChatGPT and other AI writing, I don't really use any, I'm not super into the whole AI thing yet. But for me, if I was going to utilize something to help me write a book, it would probably be ChatGPT. You have to think of ChatGPT as a tool to assist you rather than a tool to replace things. In my opinion, it's not good enough yet to be writing an entire book for you and then just putting that onto Amazon. And if you do that, Amazon's filters might catch on and then ban the book or worse, ban your account for doing it. So how can we use ChatGPT in our publishing business to its advantage but also make sure that we don't get into trouble for it. Let's talk about it. Looking at ChatGPT here, if you haven't used it before, it's just, you can write a prompt down here and it will write something for you. It's, it's literally that simple. Okay, so if I'm someone who's looking to get into, say the outdoors niche, I wanna write a book about fishing or like survival or something like that, I could come into ChatGPT and I could say, hey, write me a book description or a book outline, sorry, for a book on fishing. This book will be around 30,000 words and contain 10 chapters focusing on different topics when it comes to fishing. Okay. That's a very basic prompt. You probably want to make it a little bit better. You could say, write this as if you are a professional copywriter or something like that. I can type that in, press enter, and it's gonna give me a pretty detailed book outline to help me with the writing of my book, okay? What I don't recommend you do is go to ChatGPT and say, write me 10,000 words on this topic, and then take that 10,000 words and publish that through Amazon. That is not a good way to go about utilizing a tool like this. But as you can see, it's already generated this for me and you can see it's got chapter one, the basics of fishing, chapter two, essential fishing gear, chapter three, choosing the perfect fishing spot, chapter four, knots, and like it's very, very detailed. It gives you a pretty good outline. So what I'm trying to say is take what ChatGPT gives to you and utilize it as firepower to put towards your book to make it better. Don't utilize ChatGPT to replace the book or the book writing process, okay? It's gonna help you and basically treat it as your assistant. That's what I would recommend doing. And if you wanna take things one step further, if you're someone who's like, okay, I got my book outline now, can you write me the first chapter for the book above? And it's gonna write me the first chapter, okay? So you can look at this and it's gonna break it into different pieces for that specific chapter. Again. I would never take this and copy and paste that into my overall Word document and utilize that for my book. Even though this is very simple to do, it looks cool and it's, it takes like two seconds, this is going to wreck your Amazon account. And it's gonna wreck your reputation too if you have an established author or brand because this isn't the best writing by any means. It's just basically cut and paste. It's not cut and paste from other websites, but it's just cookie cutter, I guess I should call it. So what I would do after that, if, it's, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna be someone who's like, I'm not really gonna listen to you, Dane, but I'm gonna kind of take some of your advice. What you could do is go in here and say, copy this or something, and go to this other AI tool called Quillbot, which is gonna take things and basically rephrase them. You can see up here, I'm in the paraphraser section. And I can paste in the text that I've written and get it to paraphrase it for me. And you're gonna see it's gonna change things around to make it sound a lot more natural, a lot more believable that it's a real person writing it and not so AI kind of cookie cutter like I just said. So I can look over here and look at this and it says, instead of in the in the quiet embrace of dawn with the sun gently illuminating the water surface. Over here, and this is the paraphrase that it has, anglers are lured and it just basically took everything, reshortened it and made it more believable, I 
guess. So you can hover over different areas and see what it was doing, why it did that. And you can choose different words to put into that area if you don't like what it's done. So that's one tool. I'm not affiliated with Quillbot or anything. You can go ahead and use it. I'm not getting paid for it or anything like that, nor am I affiliated with ChatGPT. But this is just my suggestion to someone who might be looking to, hey, let's utilize ChatGPT and write all my books for me. It's not gonna work very well, in my opinion. I've seen people get away with it, don't get me wrong. You can publish books with ChatGPT on Amazon. Is it the right move though? One, it could get you banned. Two, it could ruin your reputation. Three, it just doesn't look very good. And it's something that's not gonna be of the highest quality possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not a professional with using ChatGPT. There are some people out there who have like these super advanced prompts that create this like masterful writing from ChatGPT. For me personally, I'm not on that level yet. So maybe I'm wrong about this, but from my personal perspective and my experience from what I've seen in the industry so far when it comes to self-publishing, the most successful authors, this is what they're doing if they want to integrate ChatGPT into their business to assist them with the writing process, but not completely take over the writing process because it can and most likely will eventually, if you do it for long enough, have bad effects on your publishing business as a whole. So again, I don't recommend doing this uh, to replace your writing, but do it for something if you're looking for assistance when it comes to getting your book written and excelling with your publishing business because this can save you so much time. It can save you so much effort, so much thinking. Uh, if you utilize it in the correct way, okay? I highly recommend not going and abusing this kind of thing with all the different kind of topics. You can make a book description, you can make a book outline like I just did. You can make a book title with ChatGPT. You can get your first chapter written by ChatGPT. But if you're gonna do something like this, take it here, go to Coolbot, go here, and I'd hire a line editor through something like Fiverr or Upwork to come in and make it look even better if you wanna avoid hiring something like a ghostwriter completely. That's what I do. I'm not suggesting you do this, but there's tons and tons of questions out there. People ask me all the time, like, can I use ChatGPT to write my book stand? It seems so much simpler. Everybody else is doing it, but that's the problem. There's so many people doing it. ChatGPT doesn't really change its style up if you're not using unique prompts. There's just so much room for error. I would stick to using ChatGPT as an assistant rather than a replacement for your publishing business. That's all I wanted to get into today. Nothing too spectacular, but this gives you guys an idea for what I would suggest you do if you're someone looking to get into self-publishing and utilize AI to enhance your self-publishing business, but not replace certain pieces of your publishing business, okay? So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you're someone who's looking to get into self-publishing, you're not 100% sure how to do it when it comes to Amazon KDP, I do have a 100% free Facebook group. It's linked. First thing linked in the description down below. There's over 10,000 people in there. So there's tons of people who are in your shoes and tons of people who are five years ahead of you, if you're brand new to this, who can offer help, guidance, including myself. I'm in there all the time answering questions. You can ask questions. It's the perfect place to get started. And the best part is when you join the group, you're getting access to my five-step guide to getting started with self-publishing. So hopefully this video was helpful. I'll see you in the Facebook group. And if you like the channel, I do try to post videos every month every single two weeks or so so if you do like stuff about self-publishing you want to learn more make sure you click subscribe hit the like button and turn off notifications so you know when i post new videos that's it for this one guys i'll see you in the next one peace